Hey folks, this is Robert. Out here, I uh, believe it's Friday, day before New Year's Eve, almost January. Just moved them, gave them a little less than half an acre this week. Uh, we'll see how that goes. We got a lot of, a lot of good stuff here. See underneath there, a lot of green. And that's what they're doing. And it's uh, true what they say about a uh, square paddock. They basically started at the perimeter and just been going in like a spiral. They just made it to the center. It's pretty funny watching them do that. Spiraled all the way to the center together. And... Uh, now they're probably, who knows what they're, they've probably got all the tips, but, uh, but they're digging this. Filled up their water. They got 300 gallons of water for the week, which is twice as much as they use. And I've been, Sarah and I cleared this fence row up to here wasn't really too much what 150 feet or something but it's a start and we'll slowly keep pegging away at it that is all autumn olive there we have, we got two stacks of autumn olive and uh i got poked in my knuckle and it still hurts and that's been probably uh i think it's been more than a week So this is about 150 feet by 150 feet, this paddock. And there's a lot of good forage in here. This is probably, this has got a lot of rest on it. I haven't uh, looked, I've just been going through the motions. Next year, next spring, I'm gonna really start keeping good records on where they've been for how long and I should have been doing that already but shame on me there goes a hillbilly with the front end of his truck lifted and the rear dragging the ground that's about the dumbest thing I've ever seen burden in but there's a uh, if I stand this up just about anywhere it's it's 24 inches of uh, material now, I know they're not gonna eat all that I kind of calculated uh, seven inches that they'll eat and uh, at 250 pounds per inch. And I came up with right around 800 uh, pounds of that they'll eat this, that they'll have available this week and estimating their weight at 3% of their body weight total. I came up with about 750 pounds that they require so we'll see how well that works out they're fat and happy that's the main thing they've actually put on weight this winter so far of course I think these uh Two of these are still growing at least. This one here, I'm beginning to suspect she's, uh, I hope not chondro positive, but if so, we'll figure out what we're gonna do with her. Probably, uh, probably be our first meal. But she's uh, quite a bit smaller than the rest of them.
we'll see what happens. I certainly, uh, I know when they get advanced in years, they, if they are chondro positive, they uh, have a lot of joint problems and uh, have a lot of pain. So we won't let that happen. Those would be some pretty small cuts of meat, I think. I don't think uh, that's too small. I would like to have, ideally, eight, 900 pound cows and over a thousand, thousand, 1100 pound bull. A little bit less than what Greg Judy wants, but I think, uh, you know, not having a lot of acreage, a little bit smaller is probably better. Their manure is looking good. Like I said, I do have a protein tub when I think they need it. When there isn't a lot of green, there's a lot of green in this in this paddock. And uh, the next month they'll have a lot of green. At the top of the hill on the other side of the creek, we'll have uh, about almost two acres of good green for them. I hope everybody made it through that freeze good. We made it through it, you know, had our obstacles, but where I worked out of town, it was uh, no water for three days in uh, Asheville. They had some kind of water freezing going on and uh, we couldn't even go find any food, really. All the restaurants were even shut down. So a lot of the hotels didn't have water. It was pretty rough up there in the mountains. Good thing I got to come home where we did have water. But they actually had rolling blackouts here in North Carolina on New Year's Eve. And we were one of the lucky recipients of no electric. But we do have a fireplace. But what uh, irritated us was there's a place called Tanglewood and they put on a Christmas light show every year sponsored by Chick-fil-A, which I like Chick-fil-A, everything about them really, but drove by there. We didn't have any power, but I'll tell you what, that light show was, a, was going on. Priorities were kind of screwed up on that one. A lot of elderly, no power. Christmas Eve until uh, about midnight. And it was, uh, what was it? Eight degrees, six degrees, really cold to have no power. Oh well, we're at their mercy folks. But uh, that's one reason why I'm trying to develop my own food source. And <clears throat> when we do build a house, we're going to go solar. I do not want to have to depend on anybody. I know uh, to some degree, we do have to depend on people. And uh, the powers that be is far as I'm concerned as evil as they are but all we can do is go day by day and live our lives how we feel like they should be lived and until they won't let us I guess and then we'll have to just uh, stay true to our morals and values and stand up for what we believe in rant over you all have a good one